Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about the New York Islanders' decision to fire head coach Barry Trotz. Now, before we start, please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new. Now, let's talk about Barry. And to be honest, this firing just threw me for a loop. I was surprised by it. The longtime NHL head coach had previously spent the four seasons with the New York Islanders and had a lot of success up until this year. Um, the first three years, he managed to get his team into the playoffs each of those three seasons and won at least one playoff series in each of those campaigns. So it honestly was, you know, one of those things that was shocking because he came into a franchise that was far from dominant. I mean, they were not exactly in a good place. I guess we should say when I got back into hockey in 2013, um, they were one of those teams that you kind of just joked around about because they were headed nowhere fast. And uh, once he got there, things changed as he was able to not only turn things around, but do it after losing Captain John Tavares in free agency to Toronto, where the Maple Leafs, they were able to snag him up. Of course, it hasn't worked the way they wish it would have, um, but that is what happened there. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is a roster that had some grit, wasn't loaded with a lot of big name players and didn't have crazy expectations going into the 2018-19 season. But then the Barry and the boys, they just decided to shock a lot of people on their way to 103-point season, which was a 23-point improvement from the year before. And, you know, a second place finish in the Metro on their way to shock, or to sweep Pittsburgh in the first round and shock even more people. I mean, this was just such a crazy series. I remember just being in utter disbelief. Um, that was their first playoff series win since the 1993 playoffs, so it had been a minute, and it was a massive, massive deal. I remember going and looking at a bunch of Islanders pages, um, anything Islanders related, I wanted to watch and see their excitement, and yeah, it was such a big deal for that fan base. The next season, I think a lot of people were still kind of skeptical about what this Islanders team could do, knew that maybe they could have that success again, but you know, was the last year a fluke considering that they swept the Penguins then got swept by the Hurricanes but again Trotz led his team on a big playoff run as they took down the Panthers in the qualifying round before upsetting the Capitals in the first round and I believe it was five games then they took down the Philadelphia Flyers in I believe that was seven games because Philly was looking to get to the conference finals for the first time in practically a decade as well before losing that is the Islanders losing to the eventual Stanley Cup champions in six games in the Eastern Conference Finals. Of course, Tampa Bay went on to beat Dallas in six games that same year to win their first Stanley Cup as that group that, uh, you know, a lot of people were curious to see if they'd ever win it. Now they've won two. And then, of course, going into last season, the Long Island boys finished fourth in a very, very good stacked East Division before finding their playoff magic again, beating the Penguins in the first round yet again. And then they took on a very experienced Boston team as well that they beat in six games before meeting guess who yes that's right the eventual Ch Stanley Cup champions again the Tampa Bay Lightning who had gone to beat the Wild or the Islanders in a wild seven game series and I believe the final score of that was one nothing Lightning in the seventh game of that series so it's heartbreaking knowing that you were a goal away from tying it up sending it in overtime and you never know what happens there. And that was really just disappointing. But the team did have hopes of getting back to the playoffs this year and trying to break down the door. The problem is they didn't. And for the first time in the Barry Trotz era for the Islanders, they failed to make the postseason. And, of course, when you're not in the postseason and it doesn't involve you, you can't hoist the cup or try to hoist it. So that was disappointing as they finished 16 points back of a wild card spot. Um, there was a lot of things that went wild this year. They had... A lot of losses in the offseason, if I remember. And then also going into the year, they had to start like 13 games on the road. They had a stretch where a bunch of them got COVID, if I remember right. And then, of course, they had a 10-game span where they went 0-7-3. Yeah, that's right. They went winless in a 10-game span. And that just really hurt their chances of making the playoffs. Outside of that, they went 37-28-7. and and the 2021-22 season, but at the end of the day, it wasn't enough to make the Islanders decide to keep the gritty and experienced coach. I know a lot of uh, style that he plays isn't exactly sexy, but of course, if you're winning playoff rounds, usually people don't care. And to be honest, I have no idea now that Trotz has gone where the Islanders are headed. Um, they have 
some good pieces, some guys that I really like, but I also don't see them being a Stanley Cup contender with the core they have currently. I think at the end of all this, it's just the wild fact that we could be talking about New York being the team that's back-to-back -back Stanley Cup winners. Had they got past Tampa, I do think they would have had a chance against Dallas, and I do think they would have beat Montreal, but I guess that's all hearsay for that. And had they done that, I can guarantee Barry wouldn't have been fired, but it didn't happen. Now the franchise will have to find a replacement for the coach that had a lot of backing due to his success in the postseason. Will he be able to coach some more? Probably. I mean, this is a guy that's not even 60, has a lot of success other places as well, and I think that uh, for himself, he'll probably... He'll be all right. Wherever he goes, I'm sure he'll be fine. He's going to try to get a place where he can be there for a long time. Got a lot of promise. Curious to see where that goes. So, were you surprised by the news of Trotz's firing? And do you think he will get a job somewhere else? Let me know down below in the comments. Curious to see if you think Lou is going to regret this decision, considering he already said himself that he did the right thing. But yeah, let me know. Were you surprised by the news? Should he have been fired? Will he go somewhere else? Let me know again down in the comments. I really appreciate that. Everybody, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new. Want to see more hockey content. Now, everybody stay safe. Have a great night. And you go love hockey, all right? Goodbye, Brigadiers and Brigadettes. This is your captain signing off. Have a great night.